of each boot's been taking you like 45 minutes? Right, yes. Yes. Each individual boot. So that's just the making the boots 45 minutes, but then it has to actually get painted, I'm guessing? Yeah, well, I have to soften all the edges because right now they're a little rough. So I'll heat them up and soften them, and then we're going to paint them. Awesome. Well, we'll come check on your progress. Beautiful. I'll be here. I'm doing the um, heads that go underneath the bodysuit for the centipede, the grasshopper, and the ladybug because they all have antennas. Awesome. What's hardest about this project? Um, trying to keep the heads, like trying to keep the form of the heads when you put a Mod Podge on it because they, they like crumple. So I'm trying to keep the head perfectly round. Okay. I have now um, made the adjustments, made the new pattern pieces, and then I cut it out of the uh, fashion fabric. And it was kind of difficult to make because we had not only the car form, car form liner, but also this fabric and it wanted to move a lot. So we needed to spray something to make it stick a little and then that helped us a lot. And then after that I pinned and I had to go and do what she's doing right there. This is a serger? Yes, a serger. It, uh, so it puts a thread because it binds the edges so that it doesn't fray apart later. Because you're using two layers on all your fabrics. So. Right. Well, usually we do this for every single piece that we make. Oh, wow. So that way it doesn't fray. Because sometimes you can reuse the patterns for something else, just modify it. So, um, yeah, so this just makes it work better. It doesn't fall apart. So it's nice and thick with the two different layers on it. Sweet. Yes, I'm, we're ready. Let's see what's going on underneath there. Do, 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 do. Soccer balls everywhere. Beautiful. And what this is, to mimic the stripes in here, so all this is going to be added on the foam here. So right now, we have to wait until, because so many adjustments had to be made, until we get the skirt and the body together. So I may have to readjust the size of these. So. Pretty much that's what we're doing here. So it's all going to be layers, so instead of it being one-dimensional, it'll right. be three-dimensional? So if you look at that, it's going to pop out like that, see the edges on the side, so I think that's very cool. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I'm sure there's going to be adjustments to this, too. It's pretty cool. I'm just, so now I have to lay it flat, make sure the grain's going the right way, pin it, and then I'll have to search all, every single piece on the surgery. Oh, wow. And then sew the pieces together, and then cut this stuff off. It's a step-by-step -step process. Yeah, no kidding. Well, we just got our fitting for the spider costume. So now I've gone back to the pieces where, where we like fit them with the pins. And you mark all of the adjustments and everything, and now you just kind of have to make them match on both sides. So I'm using safety pins to show the lines, and then I'm splitting the difference between them so that it fits her. So I finished my paper pattern and I cut out my muslin um, and then we cut it out after a Friday and so now I'm making the changes so it fits her better and then after that I will cut out my fashion pattern. So right now I'm still marking my changes so we're going to take out length because they were a little bit too puffy and then the inners are a little bit too big so we'll take it in a little bit. to the fashion fabric and there are these like, exoskeleton shells going across the skirt so that's I'm using paper right now to try and figure out how to make that <laughs> before I actually put it onto the fabric and so so the car foam headliner that is right yes. the, yeah. what's gonna how are you gonna put fabric on top of that we're going to uh, if this were my pattern I would Sew it as a flap underneath and then flip it back down. Ah, cool. Obviously, that goes around the middle, and there will be four of these chunks. And are you making a dress to go over the top of the rest of it to make no, the process? This is just going to be painted. Oh, painted. Yes, once we have the skeleton on the skirt, then the whole thing will just be painted. Gotcha. Wow, that's a lot of painting. That's a lot of painting. <laughs> <laughs>
It's gonna look cool when it's done.